Ride is a fully immersive music and instructor based indoor cycling experience. We don't spin at One Rebel, we ride. I'm Melissa, this is Tiago. We're going to take you through everything you need to get the most out of your ride experience with us. There are three hand positions for a ride class. You've got hand position one, hand position two, and hand position three. Where you put your hands is really important depending on what choreography your instructor is taking you through. So listen out for their instruction. Next, we have our different choreography on the bike. So sometimes we sit on the bike, most of the time we'll have our hands in position two, our shoulders nice and relaxed, core engaged, making sure you can feel the beat of the music. When we stand up, we take our hands to position three, making sure again our body weight's back behind our knees, our core is engaged and our shoulders are nice and relaxed. Hand position one is based on your own comfort, where you want to ride when you want to dig deep and take it to the next level. Tiago is going to show you some of his favourite moves. So, out the saddle, we have the bounce. This is when we're using the beat, really bouncing to the beat of the music. From there, we go into a rock back, which is when we take our hips backwards, so over the saddle and up, chest is always nice and proud. And then, we want to take it a little further, we're going to get low. So we take it down, face down, ass up. We can either hold it there, or we can come up for two, down for two, or if the instructor's feeling incredibly cruel, singles. You're going to go for it, Tiago. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> not today. Make sure when you're on a get low, you take your bum right back over the saddle. Elbows are not touching the, the handlebars. When it's time to really dig deep, we do a climb. So there's two different positions you can do a climb. Seated, this is where you can feel every turn and your legs are just taking the weight of that bike. We come up out of the saddle, keeping our hands in position three, and we use our body weight to drive those pedals around. Make sure that every turn of those pedals is a challenge. Otherwise, you're literally wasting the next 30, 60 seconds of your life. You want to feel every single turn. Now I'm going to take you through setting up your bike. So, first things first, you want to think about saddle height. You want the saddle to be hip bone height. There's four levers on your bike. They are your moving parts. So you lift your red lever up behind the saddle, you take the saddle to hip bone height, and you lock it in. Then we look at seat forward and backwards. I find getting on the bike, trying it out first is the best way to gauge whether or not you need to take your saddle forward or backwards. Remember to lock it in. Then you have your, your handlebar height. We're looking at about the same height as your seat or slightly higher, especially if you suffer from any lower back issues. And again, with handlebar forwards or backwards, just make sure you're comfortable. You shouldn't be stretching too far away from your bike equally. You don't want to be all crunched up. At One Rebel, we use cleats with all of our ride bikes. This is to ensure you get the best and the safest ride possible with your time with us. It is also one of the more scary things about taking a ride class. So your instructor and the front of house team are always available to help you clip in. But we thought we'd just show you very, very briefly how to do it so you can do it on your own when you come in. So first of all, you need to actually get onto your bike. So make sure you've set up previously. You're gonna take the front of the triangle, which is under the ball of your foot, and then just push your heel down. It's super easy. Once your first cleat is in, the second should be really simple. Pop the front in, push your heels down, and you're locked in, ready to go. So now I'm gonna quickly run through, which is in my opinion, is one of the most difficult um, moves when it comes to ride, which is a standing uh, surge. So first of all, you need to make sure you always have resistance on. So you're gonna touch that resistance, and then you're gonna stand from your saddle. Make sure you have your body weight behind your knees back straight and you're gonna go as fast as you can or if the instructor is saying to keep the beat, keep it up with the beat. Also, we have the seated surge. Okay, so it's similar to the standing surge, but now you're gonna keep yourself on that saddle and you're gonna find your sweet spot when it comes to hand position. So you've got position one, two, three, or even middle bar if you want to, right? Now you're gonna go as fast as you can go. This is also a sprint or a surge. And don't forget, after you finish that surge, make sure you hydrate your body. Boom. 